Back on the Coach's Corner, John Stanko of ICLs.com, being joined by Michelle Mason, head coach of the Island of Lacrosse program. Coach, 3-1 and one thus far to start, undefeated at home at Mozilla Field. What are your early impressions from your squad? Yeah, we just, we've just we been talking about you know getting tough and being tough and gritty, and I think each game we've proven you know something in regards to that level of mental toughness that we keep talking about. Uh, you know, after a really our loss against Drexel, we we saw how well we can play um, and the areas to clean things up, and then to win the last two back to back, I think was a testament to their buy-in and us, you know, taking that step with our culture. What's the big, what's been the biggest pleasant surprise? Do you think thus far in the early going? Yeah, I think each game we've gotten better at some part of the field. Uh, which is nice. It, it's quick turnaround when we play on a Wednesday and then play on a Saturday, have a Sunday off, and then the do, do the same thing the next week. So I think each game we've gotten better at preparing and figuring out what works best for us. Um, and the girls have just really bought into that piece. Also, how much depth we have. I think we've played up to 22 people in, in a few of our games, some of our players getting in. Uh, so that that makes us more threatening for sure. And you know, who do you, who do you scout? Who do you pick? You know, each starting lineup has changed a little bit, which I also think keeps the girls really hungry. That depth, I think, plays a role in how good your offense has been through the first four games. What's it like for you as a coach to have those puzzle pieces you can throw in there at any time and you can go as many as nine, ten deep on the offensive end to confuse the opponent? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's special, and I think that the way the players respect one another, they understand that we're going to put the players out there that are going to fit the opponent best for us to get the result we want. Uh, you know, it's hard maybe to start a game and to get limited minutes the next game, but we're still winning and we're producing. And to kind of accept that and, and get it and keep pushing every day, I think is a, is a testament to them and the type of players they are and the type of character that they have. Defensively, junior goalkeeper Shannon McCaffrey has been absolutely dynamic. Just yeah. named the MAC Defensive Player of the Week. Yeah. What's she been like in the cage for you from your perspective from the coach in the first four games? Yeah. She just, she is super focused. Um, she is insanely humble. Uh, you know, after the game, we had our tailgate and uh, she walked in a little bit late and it was like round of applause because she had just played so lights out and she, you know, wanted to hide her head in the corner. And she's just that type of person. Like she's out there. She means business. Uh, we saw a really great change um, from her putting together a full game, I think, in, in Holy Cross, which was really, really nice. The first few uh, games, it was, you know, first half was a little bit dicey and we talked about getting a little bit more mentally prepared uh, so she can start fast and end fast, which she nailed it uh, this past Saturday. Yeah, I think the tale of the two halves was really illustrated against Sacred Heart. First half, maybe a little few struggles, but second half, she completely, she was basically a brick wall in front of the net. So what do you say to her during halftime? What's the message to make sure she gets that mental resiliency that you still have confidence in here or in that final 30 minutes? Yeah, our, our halftime talk against Sacred Heart to the whole entire team was we are not changing a single thing but going harder. And we said we're just going to bring more more grit, more toughness, and just keep going, foot on the gas all the way. And they, they were fired up about that. We got out, took the field, and, and didn't really look back. And senior Gabriel Demizio made history against Sacred Heart, becoming the program's all-time leader in cost turnovers. Now that, now that the game has passed, have you taken a moment to maybe talk with her about this accomplishment or from your perspective, knowing that you've gotten to coach her this past four years, what this means from your vantage point, seeing her atop the record books? Yeah, I, this she is just an amazing young woman. Uh, she just got named valedictorian for the school. Uh, she is in the process of getting accepted into PhD programs, and she is an absolute stud top defender in our conference. It is, and same, humble. She goes out there and she does it and doesn't think twice about how hard she plays and how much she, you know, kind of sacrifices her body and, and all that. And it, she's just really fun to watch play and, and even more fun to coach. Now your upcoming game is against Army, a team that has already played two MAC opponents this year in Monmouth and Maris going one and one. What's your focus against the Black Knights tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, it's just to, you know, tighten up some of our, our components. We're going to, you know, make some adaptations in different spots. Uh, we anticipate that they might tweak their defense to, you know, handle some of our top scores. So we're, you know, looking to put in some different different pieces systematically, which is really exciting. And I think for us, it's just we're home. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful out. And, you know, who doesn't play better when it's sunshine and, and we're home. So it, it should be a great game. Well, Coach, continue success and best of luck moving forward.